Hey everybody, welcome. This is Butch Grimes, The Cooking Bachelor. Tonight, I decided to make a little different drink. I know the last time, um, everybody was really excited about our cucumber drink, but tonight I'm going to make something a little spicier and healthy. I think you'll really enjoy it. So what we're going to do, this drink is really simple. And you probably know what this is. This is a, this is ginger. This is raw ginger, fresh raw ginger. So I'm going to make this quick because tonight I've already got this prepared. I've already cut it and trimmed it and um, peeled it and the whole shot. So what we ended up with was this right here, as you can see. And let me pop the camera up some so you can kind of take a look. There you go. So now we got nice raw, ooh, great ginger. There it is, ready to go. So now, we're going to make it real simple. All we're going to do now is we're going to take our blender, which we have right here. And I'll turn this around a little. And we're going to take this ginger, as you can see, on the cutting board. And let me move that down so you can see. And we're basically going to cut this up in the smaller chunks, in the slices. Okay, and we're going to put this in our blender. So each one of these little pieces, we're going to basically just cut them in the slices. We're going to slice these up nicely. Put those in the blender because they, they are thick and they're hard and we could boil them. We could easily boil these. And if we boil them, then we could take and, um, uh, you know, we could extract the, the juice from that, but we're not. We're just gonna, this is gonna be a quick, easy way for you, okay? So you can see we're chopping these up. So we're putting these in the blender. We're gonna, a few more. We want to do all of these. These are nicely chopped. So now we got those in the blender. And what we're going to do is we're going to add about two cups of water in the blender. Two cups of water. And we are going to blend this up. Put it down, let it do its thing. Because we're going to puree it. And we're going to let this ginger do its thing. set. We got our ginger and you can see that batch of ginger is what we ended up making. Ooh, ah, nice and strong. So I have a strainer here in the sink in a, in a bowl. I'm going to just pour that in here. I'm going to pour that strainer in. We're going to strain it now. So we're straining it and we're going to get all that, that raw ginger, that pulp, because we don't really want that in our, in our mix. We want to have it as strange as possible because this is really thick ginger. So we've actually come out with a nice batch of ginger, as you can see here. Probably going to be tough with the white bowl, but... So, what we're going to do now is we're going to pour about half of that 
into our base. Woo! That's good. This is lemon juice. A little less than a, a cup of lemon juice. Sugar, as you can see, we have about a cup of sugar. So that's going to cut that ginger. Now I'm going to cheat a little tonight. I am. I have to admit, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use pineapple juice that I did purchase. And this is for quick. This is something that you know you're going to you're going to make something fast. That's what this is. But it's effective. It's going to still be very effective. Let's mix that up. And the one thing about it, sometimes, you know, I'll make my own simple syrup. And, and really, when you think about it, you can save so much money by just making your own simple syrup rather than going out and buying, you know, simple syrup at $5 a bottle. You can just put it on the stove, you can boil it, add some water, and I like to mix it up. I will actually add brown sugar and white sugar together and make my own simple syrup. And that way, you know, you don't have to worry about it dissolving, um, it, to, it, you know, especially when it's warm and it just dissolve and it'd be great. So. Here we go, let's taste this. Oh, wow. Oh, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. It's got a little bite. It's got the perfect amount of bite to it from that ginger. And, uh, and the pineapple and that lemon. Ooh. Excellent. It came out great. Now, we're going to make one little twist. This is where this is where the fun starts. We're going to bring our glass over. Well, I just will pour this in there. And let's take and pour. Take that out. And let's pour a little more. How's that look? Wonderful, huh? Like that? But one last piece, I think the part you're going to really enjoy. A shot of rum. Captain Morgan rum. Let's mix that up. Captain Morgan. Here we go. Let's go in and see what happens. Oh boy. Ooh, woo. That is a wonderful drink. Mm. Ah, I tell you, that came out great. Excellent. So, those of you that want to get creative, something different, tired of the same old stuff, orange juice, pineapple, cranberry, and vodka, you can't go wrong with this because you can do so many things with it. You can do vodka, you can do tequila. Ooh, tequila and the ginger would go great. So, remember, it's a simple drink. All you're doing is taking fresh ginger, you're going to peel it. You're going to chop it up in small pieces. You're going to blend it. Once you blend it, you're going to strain it because you don't want all that extra pulp in your drink like this. And then once you finish with that, you're going to add lemon. You're going to add sugar to taste. And then you're going to um, put the pineapple juice in there. So you got ginger, pineapple, and rum. Wow. 
Oh, that's good. So until next time, this is the Cooking Bachelor, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.